higher. Hopefully, this is the last vid um, for lesson two. It just seems to be a lot of videos. There's a lot of bits and bobs and little bits of information. So it talks about position vectors. And what's important about position vectors is that it's all relative to the origin. So it's just like coordinates you've used for ages. So it's all to the origin. So a point P would have a position vector over P. There. Okay. So, yeah, so it says here in general, if you've got a set of coordinates, P comma Q, then the position vector OP is PQ as a common vector there. Right, so let's have a look at this first example. So example one says, so we've got A is 3 across 2 up, and B is minus 2, 1. That's the position vectors of A and B. So OA is 3, 2, OB is two, minus 2, 1. So join OA and OB. Right, so OA goes to 3 across 2 up, which is there. So that's the vector O to A. B goes minus 2, 1, so it goes 2 across, dot 2 to the left and 1 up, so that's O to B, there, so got that. Draw the line from A to B, so it joins A to B up, so officially that's kind of point A there and that's point B, so that's your origin there, isn't it? So I've got a line joining up. A to B, right, the direction, then that. A to B is a column vector, right, so let's have a look again. So A to B goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left, and 1 down. So minus 5, minus 1, there. Hence, right, A and B in terms of uh, a and B. Mm. I'm just trying to change that to OA and OB. There. Right, so to get from A, I have to go backwards. So it's um, a minus OA, which is the same as AO, if you want it that way. And then I'm going to go, so it goes along from A to O. So I could have had OA or AO. There, let's see, a plus AO, and then I'm going from O to B. O to B. There. This here, it's that idea of the second letter. Take away the first letter again, isn't it? That we talked about earlier on. There you go. Second letter, take away the first letter. Always. Always that. Right, come on, people all day. Let's get this bit out of the way before I fall asleep. Right, so. Okay. So we know that AB, so we've got to find out where B is. I know what AB is. And I know it'll be B. Take away A. So AB is 3, 4. Oops. OB, I don't know. So we find it later. So it will be a don't know. Take away OA, which is 5 minus 2. So if I take that on the other side and add it on, I've got 3, 4 added to 5 minus 2. So that's my position vector to be. So 3 plus 5 is 8. 4 plus a minus 2 is 2. And that's O to B. There. there we go. So that's what O to B is. Find the exact value of this. Well, that just tells you to do Pythagoras. It just wants its length. So it's the square root of 8 squared plus 2 squared. So 64, 68. So it will be root 68, uh, which according to this, its magnitude is 2 root 70. There. 
Let's have a look at example three then, and then we're done. So use vectors to find the distance between A and B. Right. So if you imagine there's A and there's B. That's the vector AB. Um, so A to B, so on that distance, will be OB minus OA, second minus first. So AB is OB, which will be minus 1, 4, minus 2, 5. So minus 1, minus 2 is minus 3. 4 minus 5 is minus 1. There. So that's A to B. So now if I look at the distance, that's the magnitude of it, using Pythagoras. So it's minus 3 squared plus or minus 1 squared. So the length of that vector, its distance, is root 10. Right, that's it. That's done. Excellent. That was a killer.